Hello everybody. I just wanted to give you instructions in how to import photos from Apple Photos to Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. <laughs> uh, and I am currently working on version 7.3. All right, well, let's get started. Um, basically, what we're going to do, I have Lightroom open right now. We're going to come down here to your finder and uh, I have my finder down here. You may have yours on the left side. Now we're gonna go up here to devices and look for your Macintosh hard drive. If you don't have this, uh, you can come under preferences uh, and just make sure your hard disks are uh, selected, uh, hard drives, um, or you can come over here to si sidebar as well. Make sure these uh, are uh, checked uh, devices, um, you know, pictures, uh, should be checked as well in your home okay if that's not uh, I'll help you get there but you need to make sure you, your hard drive is connected um, showing on the left hand side there once you click on that uh, you're gonna come down here to users okay users you're gonna click on that little triangle it'll it's gonna drop this down then you're gonna go to that home icon um, again, some of you already have that there, but I'm just showing you the long method. You're going to click on that triangle, go all the way down to pictures. Click on that triangle down here, and then you scroll all the way down uh, till you see this folder called Photos Library. Lightroom cannot see that file, but that's where your pictures are stored. Um, so we're going to right click on here and go down to Make Alias. What it's going to do is create a little shortcut. Again, this is the file that Lightroom can see. You can see my original uh, one has 16 gig, uh, and this is just a small little 888 bytes uh, little shortcut. Um, now we can go back to Light, uh, Lightroom, okay? Um, and then we're gonna hit import. Uh, again, you probably need to, you need to be in the library module uh, and then click import. Uh, again, library module, bottom left, import. Okay, once we click on that, we're going to go left to right. We're going to select our source. Now, again, if you don't have that selected, we're going to hit Macintosh hard drive. We're going to go to users, right? You have all of these. You're going to go to users on the left hand side. Click that triangle uh, down to SKA. That's the name of my computer that I named when I set it up. Uh, so yours won't say SKA. Uh, come down here to pictures. Click on that triangle again. Scroll, scroll all the way down to that folder, that new right there, photos library. Uh, you click on that and it'll bring up all of your photos. It'll have, uh, because photos is raw, uh, it'll have your raw files there um, along with your, uh, uh, let's say you made adjustments as a JPEG, uh, it'll have those adjustments and create a separate file. So you have two files of each one, okay? One was if you had edited it, and two would be your original one. So we're gonna hit copy because we're gonna copy the pictures out of here um, into, and if you, you know, new photos, into your destination. Um, so the right hand side is the most important thing. I'm not gonna go through all of these menus, but just make sure you go through other destination and choose where you want it to go to. Now, uh, as I taught you, uh, uh, I'd like you to put it to your external hard drive. Um, and I have a folder, uh, it's just great organization to have everything in one folder. So I have all mine in Owl's Pictures Master. This is my master of all my photos and then I have it by year. Okay, um, don't have to click on the year because it's going to span many different years. So just click, make sure you have uh, the, the root folder, uh, your master selected, and then hit choose. Okay, um, now uh, you can see here on the right hand side that that's where it's going. Yes, I'm not going to go through these uh, individual menus here, um, but you can choose those uh, destination. Um, because it's going into this um, external hard drive, Owl's Pictures Master, you can see it's uh, my default is it's going to create a year, uh, a folder for every one. For this particular situation, I don't want it to go into my normal format when I import from a card. I want it to create a folder. So I come up here to the year, and, and you see that forward slash? It creates a folder there, and then the year, month, date. 
by clicking on that, you're going to have, and you're going to then see, um, when you come down here, a root folder of the year, and then each one of those. And then you can go and rename those later, each one of those dates, okay? Now that you have that um, all selected, you can see it's going to import um, in 2010, 600 images, and blah, 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 okay? When you're done, uh, just checking, making sure, then you hit import. I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I don't want to import all those images. Okay, so I'm going to cancel a lot of here. Um, at this point, this is when you would go grab coffee or something like that and let it Lightroom do its thing. Um, another thing you can do uh, when it's all done, um, after the status bar up here is clear like this, uh, you can go back to Finder uh, and Delete. So right click and move to Trash. You can delete that empty folder and you can delete this as well because you imported everything from there. All right. Uh, so those are the instructions to uh, import everything into Lightroom. Um, uh, then when you're done, it'll show up over here with all of your year uh, and then your images in there. Okay. Uh, good luck. And um, hopefully you get everything organized. Have a good day. Bye-bye.